start for the Barbarians is worthy of an Aviva Premiership contract. That is what the people have said and they have called out on the London Wasps who have listened and have snapped up this young, tenacious scrum half, Nathan Nichols, as he continues his road to the Rugby World Cup. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flake Trippy, a home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the new road to the World Cup series with Nathan Nichols, this young, now Englishman, choosing to apply his trade to the game of rugby as he looks for a World Cup berth. He started out for the Barbarians in a match against Australia a couple of weeks ago. That didn't go how he planned result-wise, but he played well enough, and the fans called of the Wasps out for them to sign this young scrum half and Nichols, a team that doesn't have a huge amount of depth and talent in that position. So that's what's happened. The Wasps have signed him up and here he is starting his first match at Scrum Half. He's got great talent inside and out him. Look at all these fantastic players, international um, caps all over the place and he has some real experience, especially in the back row in front of him. Haskell, Smith and Johnson, they know their way around the rugby field. Outside as well, Jimmy Gopov, Alapante Leua, as well as Massey, Wade, Halai, and Alia Daly at the back. It is a great looking Wasp side, and if they can click here and use their little number nine to direct play along with Coppith, it could be a good season for the side. The first opponents for round one, and it's a tough ask as well, up against Saracens. This side has proven year after year that they are one of the top performing sides in the Aviva Premiership. They've got the names, they've got the talent, they've got the international representation as well. And when you're led around by the English, first, five, eighth, or fly half, and Owen Farrell, you know that there's trouble looming in the back line. There's plenty of talent out there as well with Brad Barrett and Duncan Taylor in the centres. Wiles and Ashton will be on the wings with Good at fullback. Plenty of talent on the forwards as well. The two funny pullers, George and Duplessis, Chris Hargreaves, and of course, Atolje Berger at the back. It is a fantastic Saracen side, and with good reason why they have led the Aviva Premiership over previous years. It is a hard ask. First matchup against a team like the Saracens. And that is what the Wasps have to deal with here. And the game is underway. The Viva Premiership is underway. Nathan Nichols is road to the World Cup. His complete for the first part anyway. Johnson gets the first hit up of the season. And it falls out somehow. Smith has picked it up. Leua, who had a goppeth. Here's the first possible line break. It's there for Wade. Wade will run free. Coming up against Good. He doesn't tank him. It takes three Saracens players to bring down Wade. And finally he does so, and he loses the ball in the process. Pipping it back and forward, a chance here for Dunga Taylor. He comes up against Daly. Great tackle, Elliot Daly at the back. It's in trouble early on here for the Wasps. It's Saracens on attack. Just outside the 22, good tackling and defence. Here's Wigglesworth, he'll go himself, he's out up, and he's driven backwards. Now comes free for Vinnie Puller, Ashton! Strong runner of the ball is Chris Ashton. Still going, Wheelsworth. I think that's Nichols who's taking him backwards. And Nathan Nichols will get the turnover. What a start for his young career. Here's Shiverington. He goes wide for Gopeth. Gopeth offloads beautifully. Layola. There's a few New Zealanders out here. Here's Halai. Frank Halai looking to burn through but gets taken down. Nichols first man in support. Hits the ruck. He's only tiny but he secured the ball brilliantly. Now they'll run away through Haskell. Layola. There's experience out here. Oh, beautifully to Lonsbury. He looks one nice there for Wade. The burners are on. And he's just touched them to touch. Oh, that was exciting. From the Wasps, they know how to attack. They've got absolute weapons everywhere. Not quite getting the finishing touch they wanted there. George goes to the back and Berger pulls in. Wigglesworth fires wide and Barrett fires back to Ashton. Switching all over the field here at the moment is Harrison's. Wigglesworth again. Misses out, Farron goes to Atalje, he's, he's completely hammered there, and he loses the ball as well. It's pulled back for Wasp, Launchbury gets the offload away, no, it's in a mercy. He's breaking free, he gets the offload, oh, it's great, Leola picks up, Nichols offloads, it's gone, no, it's intercepted, and Gobbeth could not get it. 
Farrell does the job and it's a touch it goes off the boot of Daly. Wow, what a passage of play from these two sides. No score yet, but there's plenty of rugby being played. George throws in and in the middle, Hargreaves takes it down. Oh, there's a shot, a goal, job goal attempt, Farrell. It's gone short and Daly will place this down. No risks there at all from the Wasps. I want to put this ball downfield as quickly as they can. It's given straight to Gopith. And he hammers this onto his boot downfield over halfway. Waiting for it in the back there is Barrett. And Barrett's hammered. But a beautiful pass away. Gets it to Wiles. And field it goes. It's Hange. He's got men on him very quickly. Strong run of the balls. A blindside flanker. Wigglesworth gets it to Taylor. He's taken down. And a penalty drawn. Not releasing at the breakdown. Duncan Taylor completely isolated. So a great chance to attack here for the Wasps if they can hammer this into the corner. Jimmy Gopith does a good job of it. And the Wasps are on attack here. Look out. Their lineout is a machine. If they can get these guys rocking, they are on top. Nichols, his first real set piece. Gopith, a brilliant pass to Wade. Wade finds Leowa. Leowa looks to shimmy. Probably should have used Massey outside. Nichols first man to the breakdown. He runs a bit before finding Johnson. Here's an advantage to the Wasps offside. The ball is still free. Halai around the corner for Massey. This is advantage over Shawley. The ball comes infield away from Mullen. Oh, Mullen's isolated. This is surely a turnover. It will be indeed. It's back to Saracens. They got short saw, short side to Cruz. And a high tackle coming in from Smith. The veteran George Smith couldn't keep a can on at that time. And the high shot will give Saracens an easy escape out of their 22. Up towards halfway goes from Good. And now they have to build their way back upfield. The Wasps have a very good line out though. You can't take that away from them. George will throw. Gets it to the middle and Hargreaves just pulls it in. They turn and they drive on their second rower. But it comes out eventually and they look again to the short side for Wiles. And he's taken into touch quickly from Frank Halai. They're looking to the likes of Halai and Leua to really do some damage here for the Wasps if they can get into some space. Nichols fires a beautiful pass. Gopith. Leua, Leua just about gets away. Great tackle. Duncan Taylor. Look how quick Nichols is there. Look how quick Nichols goes. He's up against a fullback. Good tackle at the back from Good. Ball reset, so disjointed defense here from the Saracens. As the way it goes to Leua. He's gone. This is the first try for the Wasps. It's created from Nathan Nichols. And Alapante Leua will finish the job. What a try. The Wasps are in. Saracens trail. It's 5 0. This is how it's done on the back of the break. From Nathan Nichols, a huge gap. You hit your gas, man. That's Alapati Leua. And he is gone straight through the hearts. No fullback in place. He's at the bottom of the rock. No one took. The responsibility to cover the back. And Leua said thank you very much and welcome to England. Well, what a start for young Nichols. He's obviously the man we're tuning in to see. If he can feature in a road to World Club glory for the English. He's off to a good start here. His first real dabble with ball in hand has resulted in the first try of the match for the Wasps in the first of the season, converted by Jimmy Gopith. Well, that's a good start. That's a great start, in fact. 7-0 they lead over Saracens. It is half time. It's been a fantastically entertaining first 40 minutes that we have witnessed here in this opening of either Premiership matchup. Let's have a look at some stats.
And look at the territory. First thing that springs to mind there, 70 30 Saracens are dominating the territory stats position. Fairly even, but the Wasps have been pinned down in their own half for a majority of that first 40 minutes. Saracens have just about made twice as many tackles, though, despite having all that territory. Line break count Wasps to five, Saracens with just three. It is at the bottom, though, where concern comes in for the Wasps as they have made five handling errors, just zero. That's not even just, it is none at all from Saracens. A great start from their hands, but they haven't managed to put anyone over the chalk to score their try. It is 7-0. The Wasps leading this one over Saracens in round one of the Viva Premiership and Nathan Nichols road to the World Cup. Well, obviously one try will not be enough here for the Wasp side if they're going to secure a, a, a big victory. It has to be said over Saracens. There's no easy wins here. And their favorite premier, Shimmer's Wade, is flying and absolutely bulldozing through. What's a start to the second half. Wade secures the ball. There we go. Smith, Leua, over the top for Mousy. He's going in. No, he stopped short. Big tackle. Recycle quickly. Launch Bree will go himself. That's a try. Well, he had support on the outside. Didn't require it. What a start to the second half for the Wasps. They've scored the second try of the game. They lead 12 0. It's Launch Bree that scores. And their second half is proving to be a real asset to the side. Look how many players were outside. Launch Bree, there he goes. Still had three or four outside of him. Here they all come to celebrate that try. Could have been right there they scored, but they had the composure to sit and wait it out. Get it to the big man who ran around the outside of Wigglesworth. Duplessy as well gave chase, but he's shown enough feet over the five meter sprint to get home for the Wasps who lead this one 12 nil. Kick to come. Jimmy Gopeth. Another New Zealand connection in this Wasp side. 45 gone, it's 14 nil. Alapati Leua, Frank Halai, Jimmy Gopeth, all played in New Zealand. About to get back on the way here. Saracens have got plenty of work to do. They kick off high. If they can match what they just did with Wade before, they could be in for something as Nichols has gone flying to skill that ball. It's there for Smith, who finds Massey, who goes quickly to Wade. Wade steps in field. Good run from an intercepted ball, though. And they run backwards through Saracens, but eventually it comes back, and Ashton will be the one to take it to ground. Still there as they run it off from Vunny Puller, finding Berger, who just about escapes. But Mullins turned it over. Quick ball to Massey. Away to Bristow. Bristow stops the pass, but it goes nowhere they wanted to. Halai, Halai. Hard to put down, but isolated again. And turn over ball. Good goes wide. Looking and intercepted. Laiua. Now they're going all over the shop here. Bristow again. Screaming to the way. Massey gives it to Wade. And Wade is launching. He's got Haskell. Haskell goes to Massey. Massey back to Knuckles. Here's Nathan Knuckles. He's got a fundraising the opposite number but they will not catch him he's got speed he's got all the speed he needs and he scores a try on debut wow what a start for Nathan Nichols what a start for the Wasps this is extraordinary rugby the offloads were fine thick and fast and finally the gap appeared for Nathan Nichols and he's shown no remorse the red boots running faster as you'd expect, look at him, bang, he is gone. The acceleration is phenomenal, but to keep that high rate all the way to the line was what did it for Nathan Nichols. Well, that is the third try for the Wasps, and they are leading this one convincingly now. Could they look for the unthinkable, a four-try bonus point, and even shutting out Saracens? Here's Gopeth. To make it 21, steps up, hits it nicely, right in front, no problem. It is 21-0. Nichols is on the scoreboard, and the Wasps are looking fantastic. It is 21 to Zip Saracens. Have no say in this match still.
Nearing the hour mark. Kicked off from good, up it goes and flying high is Haskell again. Launch for Ioana Johnson. Now he's through the middle, the big number and oh, what a run. Look out, good. He's just been bulldozed. Nichols is quick to be there at the breakdown. He snipes down the short side. Oh, chips over the top and he is taken from behind after the kick as well. Dreadful stuff from Saracens against the youngster. Wiles is the one who pulls it away and now they look to attack through Vunipula who gives away to Marco Vunipula. One on one tackling here, not bad as Duncan Taylor finds room out here to Brad Barron and sign Atolje. Oh, what a hit there on Hargreaves. Turnover, ball, Nathan Nichols fires. Leoa, Wade, 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 big pass wide, looking for Marcy. Can't pick it up on the bounce and he slides in on it. Ball here for Johnson. Finds Gopith directing play, but he's given a strength to Barrett, a horrible pass. Barrett pulls in, now it's Berger. Oh, it's that Nichols. What a massive shot from Nathan Nichols. Here's absolutely sideswipe Burgers. Here's Ashton with another chance. He's taken out from Smith, and Smith picks up. Oh, bulldozing run, and the ball has come out of there somehow into touch. Wow. This Wasp side is really leading the way here. There's some changes. Come on, Brits for George. Change in the front row. Maybe too late for that for Saracens. But the Wasps are doing just what they need to. Here's Brits with his first touch of the ball. He finds Hargreaves at the front. They deliver straight to the back line. And inside ball to Berger. He's hit on the 22. No way through. Wigglesworth gives a short and a big hit there on Farrell. Oh, he's gone down and he's lost the ball. This is turnover. It's Jimmy Gopith. Gopith running for the corner. Can't do it. He's absolutely hammered. Trying to scamper away. Nichols is there already. He'll look to do some damage. Finds Leola. Another party. Leola's in for two. Oh, that is a sweet connection between Nichols and Leola. How quick. Are oh, these two? Watch how sweetly they combined here. Nichols, you see him on the left side, the red boots. Picks up, has a little run, pops a short pass, bang! Lee was through and gone. Try. It's so simple that the defense just could not cope with the pace. Nichols off the base of the ruck, and then the pop ball up to Leoa, who hit that at a flaming speed. And easily dots down right under the sticks. Jimmy Gopith back again. Fourth try. Bonus points in the bank. And the win as well, surely, in the same place. With seven to go. Saracens have been absolutely destroyed. 28-0. We still have six to go. It has been one-way traffic. Saracens have not offered a single piece of defiance up against the London Wasps. Back underway with Good. And up will go Haskell. This time he loses the ball. It's picked up from Saracens and Marco Vunipula. Drives forward. Advantage is over. As now they'll look to go to the right side. Ashton slips inside Hargreaves. And running through is Duplessis. Not a bad little scamper from him. Oh, the ball squirts out. It's George Smith who picks up. This is quick ball. It's there. And away come Wasps again. Davies. Davies. Oh, beautiful run, but an exceptional tackle on Davies. Takes him down on halfway, and it is Saracens who get the ball back. Hargreaves with a good pass. Finds it out there for Wigglesworth, who's going nowhere at all. He's just slowly rolled to ground, and now they look out to Farrell, who's had no input to the match at all. Still here for the Saracens, and they come wide to the left, and inside ball from Wigglesworth finds Brits. And Brits almost finds half a gap. He's an elusive player. Hargreaves again. Finds to Billy Vunipula, who goes backwards. Wigglesworth. Deep runner from Farrell wide over the top. Ashton, good ball. Now there's some room here as it's Brad Barrett through. He's looking to pass, but he can't link up at all with anyone. 
Saracens have numbers here. They'll secure this ball again. It's coming out for Berger. Numbers wide, wide, and surely for Ashton. No great tackle, Wade. He's been exceptional, has Wade. Just 10 metres out. Oh, big tackle. Right around the chops there. Elliot Daly, responsible for that one, but it's just delaying the inevitable here as surely they'll tap this and go. Good. Delivers short to Berger, who's wrapped up by Haskell. Great tackle. They'll run short themselves. Numbers here for Ashton. Gets the pass. Wait for the puller. Can't hang on. Surely this time. No, he's put short. Unbelievable defense here from Wasps. They're doing everything possible to hold out Saracens. And they will do it here. This surely will end the match. It's going. Dead S is out. Eventually, Ashton could have sniffed an opportunity, but it's gone dead and goal. And that will be full time. What an emphatic display from the Wasps to start off this season. They have done the unthinkable and absolutely thrashed Saracens' first game straight off the start of the season. Five points in the bank. A try to this young sensation, Nathan Nichols. And the Wasps look so good. Here is a breakdown of that match. 28-0. Nothing at all for Saracens at all. Nothing. Can you believe them? He kept scoreless. That doesn't happen all too often. Four tries for the Wasps. Here's the try scorers. Launchbury, Nichols, and Elapade Leua with a double. Gopeth on fire with the boot. Four from four to wrap up the scoring for the Wasps. Here is the stats at full time as well. 58% of possession to 42. 46 territory to the Wasps as well. To 54 Saracens nudging out the territory on that one. Saracens didn't have a good opportunity to score some points every now and then. They did pull up a 5 plus phase attack, which is no mean feat at all. Look at the tackle count though. 58 to 63. That is a huge tackle count. That is over 120. That is a massive tackle count. What a big game by these two sides. The penalties conceded down the bottom 2-1. to one. That didn't seem to affect the game too much. A couple of high shots coming in from the Wasps late on, but didn't affect the outcome. They held tight, and the defense right at the end was absolutely sublime. That was just determination. It's easy when the clock has run out. Your opponent is on attack. You're leading... By 28 points, you just give them a try to end the match. But no, the Wasps did not do that at all. They held out and they held their scoreline to zero as well. That is a great start to the season. That is a great start for Nathan Nichols. Let's see the table and see how the Wasps are sitting after that first match. So a couple of matches into round two, and it is Bath who sit atop the table. Two bonus point wins from their first two matches. It is the Wasps straight behind them, though, on five points from their one game, a points differential of plus 28, the best in the league so far for Nathan Nichols and his team. Behind them is the Worcester Warriors, Saracens, two matches. They've still got five points, winning their second round game. The Falcons, fifth London Irish 6, Gloucester 7th, Northampton 8th, Leicester 9, Exeter 10, Sale 11, Halloquins. Down the bottom, one match, one loss in 12th. So into the second round of the competition and it will be the Wasps at home to face the Newcastle Falcons in round 2. This could be a big game to see how the Falcons are faring or will the Wasps be able to set up and build from that great round 1 performance and get some good gains going forward into round two. It is the Wasps up against the Falcons. Round two of the Aviva Premiership and Nathan Nichols' road to the World Cup. If you're enjoying this early start to the season, give the video a thumbs up and show me that you like this Nathan Nichols' road to the World Cup. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time for round two of the competition in the Aviva Premiership. Until then, thank you all for watching and take care.